And the Salvation Army helps thousands of people get back on their feet. And as we mark National Salvation Army Week, 6 News anchor Tahesha Moyes has the story of a veteran who got help and is now paying it forward. Good evening, Tahesha. Good evening, Chris. David Haywood says the Salvation Army is there for you, but sometimes you also have to help yourself, which isn't always easy. Things changed for David Haywood towards the start of the pandemic. He was living in South Carolina at the time. I have a 15 year old son. And at that time, he wanted to come back and be with his mom. And so he told me he wouldn't go unless I went with him. And so that's how we uh, got here. Haywood says he was able to get resources through the Salvation Army's Veterans Assistance Program that helped him secure housing and furniture. I think within 22 days, I, I uh, stuck with the program. I had a place and all my stuff to put in it. Lieutenant David Beckham, commander of the Salvation Army serving Bell County, says the organization is focused on keeping people off the streets. We're really doing the very best that we can to prevent the revolving door of homelessness and, and people coming back into our doors uh, once they leave. Before Haywood moved to Texas, he said veterans always held a special place in his heart. The uh, jobs that I've had, I've always had jobs assisting veterans. And now that he's been helped, he wants to make sure other veterans get that same opportunity. Uh, what I've done here, um, I started collecting furniture from veterans uh, in Colleen. And uh, veterans that move out that I know about, one of the guys called me, I'll give them some furniture. I'm, I'm thankful uh, that God sends individuals like David our way that we can help. Yeah, and, are, and are willing to be an advocate for others that can look at his life and also be encouraged by what he's done in his life. Now, the Salvation Army has a number of resources available for the community, like rental and utility assistance to meeting hunger and clothing needs. And remember this, they are always looking for more volunteers. Wonderful. Very positive story. Thank you for that, Tahesha.